Yeah, we're trying to, to play a lot of teams that are similar to our conference. And we have some really good mid-major non-conference teams. You know, sometimes when you go and you play an Ohio State or a place like, oh, that's fine. But I don't know how much that's preparing you for your conference because Ohio State doesn't play in our conference. That's a whole different animal. I mean, it's fun, you know, to, to go play those. But this year it's more about teams from similar kinds of leagues that are really good. You know, Bucknell went to the NCAAs last year. So we're going down to their place, so that'll be a nice challenge. They have a lot of you know, players coming back. Uh, obviously, locally, UB's been very good. Um, we're playing Middle Tennessee State, which is traditionally a very, very good mid-major. They've been to the, some Sweet 16s, and they're different than us. They're very athletic, fast, up and down. So we really, you know, Bowling Green from the MAC, we're really trying to put it together with teams that, hey, if we go on the road and we play well, we're in a, in a great situation, just like going to play at Quinnipiac and to set ourselves up for conference play. Yeah, I thought uh, Sada made a huge jump from freshman to sophomore year. I mean, she went from really hardly playing much as a freshman. We saw a lot of talent there and was just trying to you know, piece it together to being the second team all league player as a sophomore. So I don't know if you'll see that big a jump again, but I, I definitely see some improvement. She played with her national team in the off season, had a, had a nice time uh, playing with them and, and you know, played really well. Uh, Margaret's a senior. She's worked really hard on quickening up her, her release on her jump shot. Um, and then Maria, I thought Maria had maybe not as good a sophomore year as she did freshman year. I think maybe we all thought that she would, you know, progress more. But at the end of that sophomore year in the conference tournament, we saw that Maria come back. So that's exciting. It's really now figuring out with this new group all together, you know, how are these pieces going to fit? Because I do think we have some pieces and how are they going to fit and who's going to take shots and when. With the summer, we have a little idea of who might, uh, you know, get a chance to play this year's freshman. But our, our new faces, uh, Olivia Vernon from uh, Phoenix, uh, point guard, Danielle Sanderlin, power forward from New Jersey, uh, Lorraine Johansson um, from, uh, she's actually from Denmark, but grow, last couple of years her family's been living in Massachusetts. And then locally, India Ziegler. Um, and I think that that's maybe the, the face that you're going to see on the court as a freshman. Um, she was a Buffalo News Player of the Year, and she's, she's played really well here in the summertime and in the preseason stuff. That's a fun rivalry. I mean, over time, it just gets more and more. I've been involved in 800 million of them between men's and women's basketball. It seems to me like every one of those games, for some reason, comes down to the last possession so many times, which is a lot of fun, particularly our games. And, you know, recently, we've had just a bunch in the last five years. We've had a bunch of one-possession games where we're scoring at the buzzer to win. Uh, fortunately for us, in women's basketball and in general, we've been on the positive side of that rivalry and we'd like to continue that for sure.